Preventive maintenance is at the heart of MAPCON and is an essential function for any organization. PMs are great proactive measures that enhance overall productivity and efficiency, as well as greatly reduce reactionary emergency maintenance. In this tutorial, we will learn the various ways to generate PM work orders in MAPCON. MAPCON allows users to generate work orders based off of PMs in multiple ways. To use the most common method, navigate from the main menu to the Preventive Maintenance menu and select Generate PM Work Orders. Here, we see three tabs including Generate PMs, Selective PM Generation, and PM Generation History. On the Generate PMs tab, users can choose a zone from the list and check the box to generate all PMs tied to this zone. The calendar can be used to determine a start date and end date for the PMs. Click this button to check for past due PMs, which will appear in a list below. Should past due PMs appear, users can manually check individual PMs to generate, or use the buttons below to mass select or deselect PMs. Generate and Cancel will create these past due PMs and instantly cancel them helping the system catch up and not be flooded with unnecessary active work orders. Users can check this box to ensure that the system will create work order forms. Finally, users can check Generate Now to begin generating PMs. On the Selective PM Generation tab, users can select to generate PMs by type. This includes equipment, locations, cost centers, routes, and PM procedure. Clicking any of these will bring up a list of applicable PMs to choose from. Selected PMs will appear in the list below. After all selections are made, enter a required by date at the bottom, and then press Generate Selected PMs to begin generation. To use the classic method of PM generation, Navigate to the Preventive Maintenance menu and select Generate PM Work Orders Classic. Here, we see a drop-down to select the PM Generation method. Users can choose between All PMs, Elapsed Time and Meters PMs, Gauges Only, 52-Week Schedule, or Selective PMs. In this example, we will select All PMs. Once we've made a selection, hit the next arrow to continue. The top section shows all the different reports to generate. Keeping the checkboxes selected is highly recommended, as it will keep a record of the generated PMs in the system for historical record keeping. However, if an item is not needed for generation, users have the option to uncheck the corresponding boxes. The section at the bottom will reflect all of the checked items from the top section. Checked items will appear, and unchecked items will be absent. Once all of the desired selections are made, hit the next arrow at the top. In the next section, select which sites and or zones to generate PMs from. After this is done, press the next arrow. The next section shows two calendars. The first calendar determines the start date range, while the second date determines the end of the date range. The values that appear in these fields represent the day after the previous PM's generation's end date and today's date, respectively. However, these can be altered to fit your needs. Once selections are made, hit the next arrow at the top. Read the pop-up to ensure the correct PM's will be generated within the selected specifications, and then press Yes. The Ready to Process section will list all of the information ready to be generated into PM work orders. If anything is amiss, the back arrow can be used to navigate back to edit information. Once all information is checked for accuracy, click Generate at the top. Once all of the work orders are generated, they can be found and completed along with all other work orders in the system. MapCom Pro users with advanced administration can use the system scheduler to automate PM generation. To learn more about how the system scheduler works, please refer to our system scheduler tutorial. 
For these tips and more, check out MapCon on social media. Thank you for choosing MapCon. Thank you.